Hi, Patricia. Good afternoon, David. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Yes, a new day. A new day. Well, yesterday was a record breaker. We did a couple of <laughs> marathon interviews. I'm with Patricia Farris in Rich Crest City, Southern California. Yes. And today is Wednesday, April 18, 2018. And I have the pleasure and honor of speaking with a wonderful person. And this is going to be story number eight. And uh, Patricia wants to finish some thoughts about her two sons, Paul and Bill. And then you're going to talk to us more in depth about Patty and Laura. And Patty's named after you. Please, you have the microphone, as we say. Okay. So I want to go back and talk a little bit about the, the roles that the children play in the family and how it makes it work so well. Paul, as the oldest son, has taken the responsibility, of course, stepped in the place of his dad in as much as he could after we lost uh, the children's father, my husband. Fred. Fred. And um, that was in 2001. Um, Paul is an expediter. He gets things done. He's always <laughs> headed somewhere. You can tell by the way he walks. Um, and um, he's kind of set, he was kind of the set and became the foundations of the businesses that we started. We started family businesses in the, in the 1970s. You and mentioned the gas station. And, and it became a garage and then it became Total Automotive and then there was a restaurant and a newspaper. And uh, then we have um, a tire place. Uh, and then Cosner Knife is also a part of the family. She's a major player in the broadcasting. They, and they, they media. do. Uh, uh, it's, uh, they do computers and technologies. Right. So we kind of have the ground covered. And then, uh, but uh, then uh, uh, Larry is, is a doctor. We'll get back to. He's married to Patty. So we'll get start with Paul. So though. Larry is married to, to Patty. Uh, Dr. Larry Cosner is married to Patty. And so, uh, but, um, and Paul kind of helped to get launched the businesses. Well, he's the oldest. He's the oldest. Now we, um, all the businesses we started were what's called bootstrap financing. We just, we didn't have capital for things, so we right. just kind of started and grew. And uh, so Bill ended up with the rent. Bill had, he got, as soon as he got out of high school, he started working for a furniture company, so he got very interested in furniture and uh, actually Bill. Bill he actually became certified uh, at, at, in the furniture design and so we always lean on him to help us get the furniture the right pieces and put them in the right places in our house and make sure the pictures are on the right places in the wall. Well Bill today owns one of the most famous uh, okay, American Ash company Ash Ashley, Ashley Furniture, furniture it's a right. very big and company. So now he has furniture and a restaurant he does a lot of catering um, for big events in the community. I tasted the food when you invited me back in September of 2017. <laughs> Bill, Delicious. Works, Bill works very hard. He's, um, he uh, serves as um, on the, as I mentioned, an elected board uh, with the school board. S Sierra, Sierra Sands, Sands uh, school board. Yes. And uh, Paul has served as uh, on the airport board district, uh, as has my grandson um, in time past. So they give their time. Um, another thing, and uh, Paul has taken up the. Uh, he kind of has his voice sounds very much like his father's voice, so we lean a lot on him with the music. And um, we have what is called the Ferris Family Singers. You and, mentioned that, and I direct that. And we have the Ferris Family Players, and they have. Did I mention? about the shows, some of the shows that they've done. You can mention them again. I'm sure um, the audience is going to be delighted to hear all the shows that you've played. So this is a very, a celebrity family, let's put it. They're very modest, very low-key, but it's a very famous family. Well, he said that I didn't, but... <laughs> um, but um, it's been a wonderful opportunity for the, the children to do things together. One of the most fun shows that we did, I think... Now, Bill is... Um, he takes the lead in the in family, family theater. Right. And um, one of the first shows we did uh, was The Sound of Music. He was the captain, 
and um, each of his children, because he had a, a child that was uh, was comparable to the children and the, the captain's family. The, the, I forgot the name of the German family. Yes, yes, yes. And, and uh, so it, that was a real fun show. Now we did that up at the White Star Mine, and we it set up so we could have theater in the round. We had a so. We, d we did several shows with the theater and the round Pirates of Penzance and wow, uh, those are serious those were, shows, yes, right? Those are serious um, Broadway shows. And then we did we did um, Fiddler on the Roof, which was good, and uh, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, now, rich man. <laughs> yeah, um, we did a, a USO show that's about World War Two. USO standing for. Um, and we liked that was a fun show, but because military, it, yeah, it yeah. really told the story of. Of World War Two. That's right. And um, that was an interesting uh, show. We did that. The the one um, the, we did it twice. One was um, we used the the band, uh, the local uh, military band. No, the high school band. No, it's our it's our uh, the, uh, the uh, volunteer band. The, yeah, the place and. They're real good. They play for dances yes. right now. I don't know why I can't think of the name of it. But anyway, so um, that was a fun show. Um, but then it, uh, the the Ferris family players involved evolved into what was called the Ridgecrest Musical Enrichment Society. Tell us a little bit about this society. Now, and um, we expanded it. We have so many talented people in this community, and so we kind of extend our family. Right. <laughs> so. Well, um, you do have 60 great-grandchildren, 32 <laughs> grandchildren, uh, four children. Uh -huh. And, and uh, there's so many uh, community members that uh, we participate in so many things, so we just call everybody family. That's right. <laughs> uh, so um, so the that expanded into um, some of the Broadway shows they've done. Um, Beauty and the Beast, wow. Joseph's Coat of Many Colors, I think you saw that. Of course. And... Um, but they that was uh, formed in order to provide scholarship money for the Sarah Sands School District for talented for children, music, and, for yeah. Music. And so since two thousand and nine, they have raised one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Wow! So that we we really enjoy that participating in the community in that way. And so let me ask you a question. Uh, this is a little bit of a philosophical question. Is it, it makes you happier to receive or to give? It's always better to give than to receive. If you can. <laughs> it if is. Can. And yes. if we have a gift, we're supposed to give our gifts. That's right. We're supposed to first give of ourselves. That's right. Giving of ourselves and the gifts that God gives us, that gives it back. Well, God gave us a gift for life. He did. Right. So, so. Um, so anyway, so then, and, uh, then, um, Patty has um, the role of a doctor's wife, which is Dr. Larry is a doctor that's been is very popular. He grew up here when he went to school. They said, "Oh, you're not going to go back to Ridgecrest." He said, "Yes, I'm going back to my hometown and practice." And um, he is in, in demand. He also works for the hospital and does a lot of traveling and lectures. And um, so Patty plays a strong role in his life in supporting him because it's not at living this close to a doctor and you see what's how, his specialty but uh, he's a family practitioner yeah. but but he um, when you understand that they every day they deal with life and death so he's an old style uh, family doctor he actually travels to people's uh, makes calls and no he doesn't make house calls but he he said he serves across the board with various in Ridgecrest. In Ridgecrest. He has his office here. That's and, wonderful. Um, well, now that we're shifting towards your two daughters, uh, your wonderful daughters, Patty and Laura. Correct me if I'm wrong. Patty was born in 1955, mm -hmm. and Laura was born in 1968. So talk to us a little bit about each one of them, their growing up, their uh, inclinations, aptitudes, and what they're doing today. Uh, Laura, of course, as you noticed with her birthday, came along very late after the other kids are uh, yeah, Laura being was the thir youngest. Patty was thirteen and Laura being the youngest. And so uh they all fought over who was gonna take care of her. So it's nice having all the big take care of, of Laura. I see that little um, baby. But um 
Patty um, has a great singing voice. Yes. Patty sang, sang with the local band here for a, a lot of years with their vocalists. They don't, they're, they're not as active as they once were. Uh, but Patty has a, a beautiful soprano voice and she's kind of our angel. They're all angels, but she's a special angel. Um, a very caring, loving, everybody loves Patty. You know the old anecdote, now we explain to the kids, that everybody's special. Talking about, you know, school where everybody has to win a trophy and all mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. uh, so if everybody's special, a math teacher said, well, if everybody's special, that means nobody's special. Well, yeah. That was for the kids. Yeah. It was, uh, sorry. But please continue with uh, Patty, that she's a special angel. Okay. Um, she's a, she uh, has um, a wonderful voice. She does. Now she and Bill were very close in school. They grew up together, right? And always remained very. Bill was always taking care of me. Well, they're very Patty close, they 52, 55, yeah, right. so, two, three yeah. years. So um, they uh, they uh, we went back to Florida where they spent a lot of their years growing up, and it was fun to watch. What them. city did you spend? Uh, Winter Park. Water Park. Winter. A oh, Winter Park. park uh, we mentioned in the previous stories that uh, the father, Fred, Frederick, uh, your husband of blessed name, uh, he was a minister, he was a preacher, and he would travel to set up ministries, and so they all lived like uh, army brats, moving, moving, moving around, and discovering new world, geography, cities, people. So that's the reason so that we we're did talking. live in Winter Park for, for um, a, kind of the, the growing up years for Patty and, and Bill, and when we went, we went to, uh, uh, three or four years back, we took a trip back, and I watched them go back and find the places where they used to play in the neighborhoods, and, and <clears throat> as I was watching that, I said, um, I was mentioning about the happy times and the sad times, and Bill said, I don't remember any sad times. The only time I remember being sad was when our, when, when our dog died. And I thought, well, that's a pretty happy childhood if he does I think it's a pretty happy childhood if you can sum it up only with uh, the loss of, uh, of, the, of your our dog. Yeah. Um, so, um, then uh, when Laura came along, um, Laura is our, is our alto, so Paul's the bass, uh, and Bill's a tenor, Paul sings tenor We're speaking in musical terms yeah. because myself being a musician, we share a common love and passion and expertise in music, so we we'll Patty sings it as, as a, a, a strong soprano voice, and um, Laura sings alto, so we have quartet. Um, with uh, Bill singing bass and Paul singing tenor. Do you so, sing mostly a cappella? We do. Oh, wow. Actually, we, we, we almost without fail sing really? a cappella. Uh, I promise the audience that one of the stories will include some audio clips from the family's albums and uh, mm -hmm. other recordings. I promise. We, we're going to do that also. So, um, so uh, Laura is the photographer. Uh, Patty for a long time served as the managing editor of the paper, but... Yeah, we're, we, I'm sorry to interrupt again. It's the New York uh, style baby. But we happen to be today in the offices of the Independent Review. The News Review. The News Review in Ridgecrest. And it's a paper that's been around for quite a while. That's about 40 years. Wow. <laughs> and who established this uh, paper? Um, a man by the name of John Cole came to... Cole. C-O-E. Oh, C-O-E, Cole. He came to the Valley and said he had always wanted, he'd been in the newspaper business all of his life, and his, in his older years he said, I want to go to a community like um, this community and start a, a local weekly paper, give the community a paper. So that's what we did. That's what he did, and then we got involved and started helping him. We ended up owning the paper, and so that's how it went from there. But anyway, so Patty was the managing editor for a lot of years, but then as Larry's... Um, uh, as his job Medical required practice, him yeah. more travel, uh, he liked to have her with him. So um, she's so she spends a lot of her time now um, uh, with that. But she um, uh, was such a, a she set a great standard for the paper as managing but she still editor. Run, runs she, it, she, she helps it, but her daughter Rebecca now is managing editor. Ah, uh, Rebecca Costner. Rebecca Costner. Uh, Cos Cosner Knight, Rebecca Cosner Knight. Right, and that's her husband who has the, the media computer, and computer, the, yes, computer and technology side of the wonderful, house. wonderful uh, alliance.
it's a uh, very interesting uh, combination. So and, the, and Laura's a photographer at the paper. Photojournalist. She is. She does a great job. She she's this afternoon right now going shooting a game at this at the high school, and so keep her busy. I, she sent me a couple of uh, her professional shots of the valley, and they're absolutely stunning. They look like they they could rival with uh, some of the most famous photographers that I've seen. She does get a, she does get a lot of kudos about her pictures. Uh, absolutely, People kept, I guess she she said she does she's again she's gifted, and we appreciate the gifts God gives us. So it works for everybody. Well, the gift started with uh, you and your husband, Fred, many many years ago, on a. Plane. Well, that's a, that's all it was. Right. Who would have thunk it? Yeah. That, you <laughs> right. know, you start on a plane and you, here you are many years later, you have a whole new universe and new world. Well, thank you very much for sharing this. We're going to stop here for the purpose of brevity, so we don't want to make the videos much more than about 10 minutes. That's why we call the whole production in a New York minute, but it's going to be California style, meaning about 10 minutes. So uh, we're going to stop right here. Thank you very much, Patricia. This is David Liviano. I have the pleasure having a life story presented by a wonderful person here in Ridgecrest at the headquarters of the News Review. And today is Wednesday, April 18, 2018. So we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna continue with story number nine. Do we know what we're gonna talk about? No, we're gonna surprise you. Thank you.